90 Minutes in Heaven, and one of the stars is our friend, Jason, Jason Kennedy. Kennedy. David was Don's best friend, and he was really the guy who encouraged Don to tell people about his experience in heaven and said, hang on, man, don't give up. You gotta do this. People are going to be moved by this movie. It's a powerful story and incredibly encouraging, too. I definitely believe in the power of prayer, and, and more so um, when it comes to accidents and serious situations, I think you have to have something to lean on. I guarantee you, you will feel encouraged and you will leave a changed person. And it will, it will just bring questions up and make you ask questions and make you think about your own life. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. It's like prom. Actually, you, Champagne, you got married at long last. A little boy's grown up. Who are you? It's been over a year since I last talked with America's sweetheart, who just celebrated a birthday. But in true Julia Roberts style, she was turning the tables on me. You look very well. Married life suits you. One of my better moves. You always give me great tips. You, you tried to set me up with people before, great dating advice. <laughs> I met the best person in the world. Right, and so it all helped you along. 100% it did. <laughs> you continue to blow me away every time I see you. you. Honestly, it, it's you. just, I cried like a little baby. At the end of it, I, I said to myself, why would she want to play chess, though. Mm. Why would she want to put herself through this, these intense scenes? Mm. Why did I? I don't know. I read this on the internet, so I have no clue if it's real or not, but did you actually email Nicole Kidman and ask her to be in this movie? Let's say that I did. Okay, it makes a good because headline. Because it, it means I have her email. <laughs> when you think about it, you never have to work again. You can always pick the roles that you want to do, mm. and you get to see your family all the time. How are you enjoying this season of your life right now? It's incredible. This is Beyond AD. Hey guys, I'm Jason Kennedy and welcome to Beyond AD, a new type of program. We are the companion series to Sunday's number one show. Never gets old hearing that. A.D., the Bible continues, and each week we're going to take a deeper look at A.D.'s previous episode, hear from our fans, and shine a light on what's coming up on the next episode of this unique and incredible retelling of the Bible. What was it like watching that first episode for you two? Oh, it's just been such a, an amazing journey for us. It's, it's amazing to know that now we got to the point in 2015 where broadcast TV, uh, the TV where the majority of Americans watch the NFL, they watch The Voice, and now they're also watching our story with AD, and Christianity is now broadcast. And I love that. It's remarkable, it really is. You can clap for that. <laughs> What an experience to be there on the set. I can't imagine how cool that was. And, and honestly, guys, we want to keep hearing from you. So all season long, please be sure to post your questions, your comments regarding AD. You can use uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever platform you use. But please make sure to use the hashtag ADTheSeries, and we will cover what's trending each week. Can we just give it up one more time for my three guests? Kurt Warner. Mark Burnett, Not you. It's me. How are you doing? Yay, it's you. I've missed you. You make me cry, though. You still remember that? Yeah. I haven't. I, I don't have much memory, but I do remember that. Yeah. You haven't recovered from our I last have, interview. No, I oh, haven't. <laughs> I had a feeling. It's, I feel like this is deja vu. You're Seven still cute. months ago. You're still cute. It's a lot of makeup. Yeah. Then. That was Cuba Gooding Jr. at the premiere of The People versus O.J. Simpson, sending a message to the murder victims' families. And you know, O.J. and Nicole's kids were very young mm. when their mom was killed. And today they're living really far out of the public eye. I don't want to get political on you, but last night's Republican debate left out a very important issue. You know what it is? I do. Yes, the Kardashians' mm -hmm. latest crazy feuds, of course. Yeah. Wedding plans, pregnancy confessions, and a huge breakup. The Kardashian shockers just keep on coming, people. Yeah.